In this Figma tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to join two paths together. So if we create a path with the pen tool, the shortcut key is P, it's this icon up here. We can click first and then we can click and drag and make a little curved path here. And then we can go to done. So we've got this vector right here, right? It's its own path. Uh, the stroke weight is 11, in case you're following along. Then we could create another one. Let's create another one out here. P for the pen tool, click, click and drag. We've got another path right here. I press V to go back to the move tool and then hit done. So now you can see in my layers panel and I have two different vectors, two different paths. So how do we join these two together like this? Well, first what you should do is get them to be one vector. To do that, we need to select both. And then we need to, basically we can go up here to this uh, Boolean selections or Boolean properties, whatever this is called, and go to flatten selection. That's Command E or Control E as the shortcut key. And when we flatten that, you can see my layers panel, it becomes a single vector. So now when we double click on one of these, we go into the anchor point editing mode or the shape editing mode, and we can see the anchor points for both. We could select one anchor point and click and drag it to the other, or we could just select this path and move it over until it snaps into place here. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then get back over to our area. So we've snapped that anchor point in there. The other thing you can do before I even do this is if you just wanted to, well, we don't want to move those. Let's move this guy back. So if you just wanted to combine these with the pin tool, you could press P again for that pin tool, select one anchor point, and then click on the other anchor point to create a line between the two paths or the two anchor points. So that's, that's another way to do it. Another quicker way to do that without the pen tool is to select the two anchor points you want to join. If they're not directly on top of each other, you can go to Vector Join Selection. And so these two actually join together like that. And you might have noticed there's some other options up here. So if we select these two anchor points, we can go up to Vector and we can smooth the Join Selection. Or we could even delete and heal the selection. So if we select these two again, we could delete and heal it which basically means delete those two, but kind of make this all one nice curve. And so you can see that that is actually a re really powerful part of joining these together. Now, if you actually wanted the two curves to join at the anchor points without messing with the anchor points, you can click and drag one side until it locks in. And once those anchor points have locked, uh, have locked in, it actually uh, joins them together. But you might notice that these handles are a little off from each other which may or may not be what you want and so what you would do is select that go up to vector and personally delete and heal is a really great job of kind of combining these two together and making it look like a smooth joined selection so there's a couple options there to join selections that actually got rid of the anchor point but it also smoothed out the handles on either side which you could then kind of play with to get to be the exact shape that you want. And that's how you can join two paths together here in Figma.